my daycare director just sent out an email because I think she's getting a lot of angry emails from parents because today is the day where we all got our new invoices with our tuition increases. And for context, we get notified of the tuition increase in like March or something like that. And they make you re-register every year to attend the childcare center. And you have to pay $100 every year for some reason, which I think is crazy. Like, I don't know why I have to pay $100 every single year, but it is what it is. So we found out about these rates in March. And to be honest with you, I forgot they were changing in August. And so every parent this morning got in our inbox our new invoices. And my bill has gone up $300 a month, which is not nothing, right? Like, that's a significant increase. I have two kids in full-time daycare. And so my bill is typically $3,000 and like $39, I don't know. And now it's $3,330 nine dollars a month so it's gone up three hundred dollars so 150 per kid and parents must be emailing because they might be mad um and it's funny because the director is like we gave you guys notice but i do think you should remind people the month of that they're going to see a change in their invoice before they get the invoice but regardless i thought this would be a fun time to go through my rates Okay, here are the rates. For infants, you are going to be paying for five days a week, $114 a day. For toddlers, you'll spend $101 a day for five days a week. And then for preschool or pre-K or whatever you wanna call it, it's $82 a day. So it's pretty expensive no matter how old your kid is. You'll see that this is non-resident in our town. If you live in our town, you get 10% off and then each sibling is 10% off. I think it's important to talk about these numbers because this is a big year, right? It's an election year. We're talking about affordable childcare. We're talking about universal childcare. We're talking about all these things. This is the cost that families have right now, right? I am spending $40,000 a year for two children in full-time daycare. And mind you, this is a town-based daycare center. This is not a corporate center. This is not like the most expensive center you can go to. This is a pretty affordable center in my town. I am in Massachusetts. Massachusetts is incredibly expensive when it comes to childcare. The average is $20,000 a year. So we are spending the average amount of um, money on daycare. Um, but it is so, so expensive. It is so difficult for families. And this is for two children. And mind you, I have four. And for context, my two older kids are in public school. And so they need after school care. That is going to be probably like $1,800, $1,900 a month. And so the cost goes down as they get older, but it does not go away. And the reason families keep talking about this is because people keep telling us, that childcare has always been expensive and like it's always been expensive, but it has not always been this expensive, right? Like this is an insane amount of money. This is more than most people's mortgages every single month. These are wild numbers. And I think we have to keep talking about what these numbers look like so people can wrap their heads around the cost. I remember when I was first looking for a house, my parents thought it was crazy how much my husband and I were going to spend on these small houses. And they were like, that is wild. I would never spend that much money on this house. And then they came to open house after open house after open house with me and they went, oh my gosh, this is the market, right? That is what I think we need to do with childcare. Maybe people don't need childcare, but I think they need to understand what the market looks like for childcare, how expensive it is. For context too, my sister goes to a home daycare. It is, I think, 65 or $75 a day. And mind you, the hours are much different. They close earlier, she's not open every Friday. Like these things are factors in the childcare that you can have for your kid. And so we're having these conversations because people need to understand what families are dealing with. 